So uh, I believe that the computer here says the word that I'm supposed to be, the, the term that I'm supposed to be focusing on is behavior altering effect of a motivating operation. Um, so probably couldn't hear that, of a motivating operation. Um, so the idea is that motivating operations affect behavior, surprise, surprise, and when they do, they have a behavior altering effect. <laughs> uh, so imagine my kiddos at home that do chores all the time. And I reinforce them with ice cream. Actually, no, I don't reinforce them with ice cream. But I keep ice cream on, on in the house regularly, right? So um, they get pretty much free access to ice cream as long as they're not full and satiated and not being complete asses. Um, but anyway, so they get all this ice cream, and then they go and do their they, they go and do their uh, chores, and I say, "Congratulations, you can have ice cream." And guess what happens? Nothing. There's no behavior altering effect. The behavior didn't change because I didn't manipulate the. Uh, the motivating operation well. Now what I could do to change the behavior is say, I could keep ice cream out of the house for a month. And then I could say, you know what? Y'all been behind on your chores a little too much. So if you would start doing your chores for the next three days without being asked, I'll buy you ice cream. So what I did, and so I, their behavior would likely increase, right? So that I'm doing the chores. What I did was by depriving them of ice cream for the week, then you make that ice cream more valuable. That's the motivating operation, right? Establishing operation. Shh. Um, and, and then we established the effectiveness of ice cream as a reinforcer. Then we said, engage in the behavior. We make the ice cream contingent. Boom. We get the behavior to increase. So that's all there is to it. True?